everyone. This is the 2023 Scout Olympic Camper, and I'd like to show you some of the new updates. We'll do a quick walkthrough. Back in May of 2021, Truck Camper Magazine wrote an article about the new updates on the Scout lineup. I can show you some of them and also will link um, the article below. About the locker storage with the universal hinge. So this now goes up. I believe in the in the past photos or videos that I saw, it didn't work exactly this way, but this lifts up. Wow, that's something new. So this is brand new for me, so I'll be able to see some of the pieces live. This is a doesn't appear to be all the way in. We'll have to screw that in tightly. But inside of this locker. Inside of this locker comes uh, the tool for your lift jacks and this small tool for your um, drill attachment. I do not have the... Let's close that up. It's got some of the key. You'll note that it locks right there. Something that I hadn't seen, but I think it is important, uh, these numbers right here, it will tell you um, 1,081 pounds maximum when it contains standard equipment. If you're looking for a, a truck camper, that weight piece is huge. And propane. I believe in the pictures I'd seen previously, um, there were two, two and a half or two pounds. Now you can see there's a, a larger tank and a smaller tank. And I have this actually connected to this hose because I was cooking outside. Let's put this back in. Thing that is on this unit is the little island with some storage the ability to cook outside something that I is missing or haven't found in the previous unit uh, right here would be an extended propane line to attach I don't know where that is on this unit um, something you will see is the big silver box that is for the diesel heater um, you can access it on the top this is the exhaust this is the fuel fuel and if you notice up top this unlatches so comes with directions in a small manual um, but it could be kind of tricky the manual is comes in a lot of different languages but it lacks some simple clarity. Um, before we go in, you have notice that the water bottles are moved on this side. This one does have the Rhino Rack attachment and it is attached right up top. Um, this also has the regular um, water release from inside. Um, but what is new is this piece, which you can connect an additional solar panel and I have a solar panel but it's not the same connection here so I actually have it attached to another electric generator around the outside of uh, similar as before and this um, for me is the biggest change these front cabin windows This is an inside view and you can see the cabin windows, a huge benefit if you are in a warmer climate. When I saw an earlier video, someone commented on the spacious windows and airflow, um, which includes uh, the, the rooftop opening. If you're in a very warm climate, 
um, it would be difficult to be comfortable in the summertime. I think that a game changer, the additional two front windows so that as you're sleeping up top, you get ventilation from all sides. That makes a huge difference because these units do not come with air conditioning at this time. So here is the inside look at these windows. They do come with the screen and uh, the shades. They operate like the other windows, just a push up. And there are three latches, a little button to unlatch and a quick push out. Tons of airflow. And this keeps the bugs out. Some other features would be the hanging bag. This came with two bags, very convenient to bring inside and load up and then just hang them in the unit. So the layout of the Olympic gets you a bench seating and a, a dinette that can be uh, removed. It can also be lowered to make this into the bed, similar to the previous models. You'll see the Lifesaver is still there. It was neat that it already came filled. Um, also, the Dometic stove top that can be connected outside as well. The Dometic fridge, freezer, locker with the options um, to have one as a fridge, one as a freezer, but turning off one side actually saves energy, which could be a concern if it's a cloudy day and you're out for a while. That's why I brought my additional energy Kodiak. Something else that Truck Camper Magazine mentioned was the, the new edges to the table. Bigger, greater access. This gives you greater or easier access to the seating areas. There's still the same storage below. Down beneath us, there's storage and underneath here. Underneath your kitchen area, of course, storage as well. Your, your sink is the same as before. A big difference on this side is you notice that you don't have that same heating system. As I mentioned outside, this is a diesel heater system. Trudgy's bug out. Uh, demonstrated this to me right in the nick of time. This is very useful, so it's a touch screen. And he shared that if you go into this part, you click the heating mode, instead of power, you put it on panel sensor. And then when you go back, you can actually control it by the temperature that you want. So right now it's showing you that it's 74 degrees. You can change this by just touching and moving the line. And if you press this, that is the heating being activated. As I did that, you may have heard fans or something start in the diesel heater, but we don't want that on. So you touch it again, you'll notice that it stops. Also, in this unit, there are these brackets. I have a fishing pole set up there, but there are two others here. So this simply uh, activated by these little latches. You can move them all the way open. And of course, this comes with the shade works very well and the screen